Hi, I'm Juno Perdome with Denison Yachting. Today we're located in beautiful Miami, Florida. I'm going to take you on ST1, a 2008 Riviera 51 enclosed bridge. She's a three stateroom, two head. Some of her recent features include all new exterior teak, brand new electronics, and recent thousand hour engine service. Today we're going to start our walk through all the way stern. Here at the swim platform, you have teak throughout, access to your swim ladder, and your tuna door. Now that we're standing here in the cockpit, you can see the continued theme with teak throughout. Center line is your aquarium style live well, updated Joe audio sound system, and the center of the cockpit is this teak table, which can also be replaced with a fighting chair. Moving forward of the cockpit table to port is your ice maker as well as your grilling station. Beneath the grilling station is access to your engine room, but we'll come back to that. All the way starboard is your aft docking station, your Simrad display, and another upgraded feature is the San Juan Bimini top. Before we go inside, let's take a look inside the engine room. She's powered by twin MTU Series 60s, which gives you 825 horsepower each. From here, we're going to enter the salon through this starboard side door. Although ST1's exterior is distinctly sportfish, once you walk inside, those lines blur as you get that motor yacht feel. The most prominent feature is the staircase, which gives you access up to the flybridge, but we're gonna come to that later. All the way aft on your port side is your L-shaped settee. Forward of the settee is your coffee table, which is also movable. Underneath the settee is a pull-out berth. Simply move the coffee table out of the way, and this gives you enough space to pull out the berth. Above the settee is your storage compartment for your rod holders. This hatch is electrically actuated, which gives you a nice flush mount look. Directly across from the settee and under the stairs is your 12 bottle wine storage, as well as drill storage. Continuing forward on the starboard side is the ice maker. Here at the dinette, you have an L-shaped settee with seating for four that wraps around your dining table. On the forward bulkhead is your flat screen TV. A quick note about this entertainment system, everything is run through this iPad. You have touch control over your Apple TV, Sonos, music, as well as your security system. The sound system found in the salon is a Bose Theater surround sound. Adjacent of your dinette is your step-down galley. Here in the galley, you have your sink, trash bin, storage compartments throughout, four refrigerators, two burner cooktop, two freezers, and your microwave convection oven. Wrapping up here in the galley, directly behind me is a companionway, which gives you access to your guest staterooms. At the foot of the stairs on the starboard side is the owner's cabin. It features a centerline berth, flat screen TV, and an ensuite. Leaving the owner's cabin, going forward to port is your guest stateroom with twin bunks. Across from the guest stateroom is your laundry station. All the way forward in the bow is your VIP and ensuite. This ensuite is also shared with the guest stateroom. From here, let's jump back into the salon and take the stairwell up to the flat bridge. We're gonna start our breakdown of the fly bridge all the way aft. Here on the outside of the eyes and glass enclosure, to port is a rear facing bench seat and to starboard is your aft docking station, your bow thruster, and your Simrad display. Back here, you're provided shade with the molded hardtop. Stepping into the flybridge to port is the L-shaped settee, wrapping around a teak table, which is expandable. 
Adjacent of the settee is your sliding door, which gives you privacy from your guests down below. Forward of this is your wet bar with a sink and refrigerator. All the way forward in the flybridge is your helm station. This is your command center. Here are your four SIMRAD displays. From left to right, you have your depth finder, chart plotter, radar, and a fourth multi-display monitor. Port of the wheel is your mirror windlass control and bow thruster. From this vantage point, you have a 360 degree view of your surroundings. Flanking the flybridge are your two outriggers. Our last step on today's walkthrough is this spacious bow. The owner decided to opt out of having a davit on board to keep this more of an entertainment area. This foredeck has five escape hatches. In between the escape hatches is an area where you can easily add a sunbed. All the way forward on the bow pulpit is your windlass and ground tackle. Thank you for coming with me on today's walkthrough on ST1. If you have any further questions or like to schedule a private showing, please feel free to contact me anytime.